good morning and thank you for joining me here today on Blissfully Soulful. I am so happy that we can connect here and do yoga together. So why don't you grab a mat and join me. But before we begin, how about if you click that little red box that says subscribe so we can stay connected and then you can follow me for further and future videos. And if you could share it with your loved ones, that'd be appreciated. Thank you. All right, so now let's, that little part's over. <laughs> let's uh, stand tall on our mats. Um, I like to begin my practice standing. Some teachers begin seated. I like to begin standing because I, for me, it represents being intentional when I'm about ready to do. So uh, signaling to my body that I'm about ready to physically move my body. So I want to be grounded where I'm at. So I want to stand in tree posture in a mountain pose. And this is a grounding posture, just standing. So just really connecting to the earth and then reaching our crown up towards the heavens. So we're gonna rock onto our toes and back onto our heels. Just finding that footing, that stance, just lift tall, lower down, maybe lifting the toes. As you can lean back onto the heels, just teeter-tottering back and forth. And then find your center. And then roll out to the knife edge of your feet. Just feel that amazing stretch around those ankles to your feet and then go ahead and you're going to knock your knees together, pull up the outer portion, the knife edge, and lift them up, press in the knees, and then maybe rock back and forth. Rock back and forth. And then find your footing. Just center yourself the four corners of your feet. So your balls, your feet, and the heels, your feet, all four corners. And then lift in those toes, spread them wide, and then lay them down. And then we're going to pull energy up from the earth up through the balls of our feet, lifting up through our kneecaps, have a slight tilt to the pelvis, and we're gonna lift through the perineum. It's not as intense as a Kegel, but it's a, a energetic lock, called a Mulabanda root lock, and it's lifting and engaging up through the perineum, through the sphincters, up to the navel at our second navel lock, and pressing back to the spine, lifting up to the sternum. And in this motion, we're not a puffing up, we're an expansion. So feel the expansion of your chest as you draw your shoulders down and back, Pulling the chin in at your third chin lock, and then reaching crown up. And in this anatomical positioning with hands placing forward, shoulders down, closing our eyes, we feel like we grew an inch. And with our eyes closed, we connect into the moment. So take a big inhale through your nose and a big exhale through your mouth. And just meet yourself where you are this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening. Whatever time of day that it is that you're journeying on your mat with me, honor it. Honor how you feel, your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions. Be the observer without attachment. Visualize as a movie reel going by where it doesn't get you uh, charged in any way for a reaction to it. So there's no, oh wait, starting to get anxiety, I can't do this, let me quit. No, I have all these things to do, I shouldn't, you know, whatever. Like, just be present right here. No, I can't. No, I shouldn't. No, I'm not good enough. No, I'm not worthy. No thoughts of yesterday or earlier today and no thoughts of what's coming. Just being here in the present moment, which can be hard to do. People are like, what is meditation? I can't close my mind off to meditate. Well, our mind is like a computer, so it's constantly on. Even when we sleep, we dream. But it's really about slowing the chatter down. And just observing it. So being in a space connected to the breath is the quickest way to get ourselves into a meditative state. So just focus on your breathing, slowing it down rhythmically. Inhales and exhales are equal parts. So if you're inhaling for like a four or an eight count, exhale for the same. And breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. your body calming, feel that connection with the breath, with the body, and unity with the spirit. And then bring your hands to heart center. 
pressing those palms together, elbows out, really feeling the resistance in the palms. She connected that heart, feeling in a space of love and gratitude. If we're intentional in our practice, let's just surrender into the moment. It feels good to just let go. Let's be intentional in that, in a space of grace. Letting go of fears, letting go of expectations, letting go of competitions. Be in a space of cooperation and harmonious movement as we flow, breaking free from anything that's holding us back from living our best life to the fullest. Let's take a big inhale, lifting arms all the way up. Reach towards the heavens, lengthen the body, lengthen the spine, keep the pelvis rolled under, reach up, lengthen, then exhale, bend in the knees and fold. Shake your head, lift your heels. With a blood rush to the brain, shake your head side to side. Then hold it center, lift halfway. Then exhale, deepen. Shake your head, fingertips down, lifting those heels. Hold it center, lift halfway, pull the navel in, tabletop your back. And then exhale, fold. Fingertips down one more time, lift the heels, rock and those hips sway a little more. Get that movement a little bigger. And then hold it center. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Then sit into your chair, lift your chest, hands, prayer. And again, just really pressing into those Palms, elbows are out, pressing, feeling that resistance through your shoulder blades and your chest as the shoulder blades are down and back. Make sure that when you sit, you're not shifting your weight forward. You're pushing your bottom back. Roll the pelvis under, squeeze and breathe. Then take a big inhale, reach nice and tall, and then come right back down, have a seat. Then lift nice and tall and have a seat. Lift tall. Have a seat, lift tall, have a seat, lift tall, have a seat, lift tall, have a seat, lift it up, have a seat, bring it up, have a seat, lift up, have a seat, four more, have a seat, three more, have a seat, two more, have a seat, last one, have a seat and hold it. Take a breath. And then take a big inhale. Reach those arms up nice and tall. Lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Hands to your ankles. Press into the balls of your feet. Lifting that tailbone higher. Pulling the forehead closer to your knees. You can have a bend in your knees and begin to straighten the leg. And then place your hands down and step back into kneeling. Shoulders and wrists will line up, knees and hips line up. Roll the pelvis under, chin to chest, cat and cow. And then release. Roll and tuck it, chin to chest. And then release. Roll and tuck it, chin to chest. And then release. Last one. Roll and tuck it, chin to chest. And then release. You're going to take your knees wide, out wide, and sit back into your child's pose. Reach those arms long. Crown us down. And then bring it out, drop in those hips, press into those arms. Feet are glued down to the mat, pressing those feet together. Drop in those hips. So we're gonna wake up those hips a little bit. You're gonna sit back. You're gonna make big circles. Shoulders and wrists will line up, drop in those hips, then bring it back down and around. Big circles, drop in those hips, bring it down and around. Bring it out, shoulders and wrists line up. Big circles, knees are wide, feet together. Down and around. Breathing in and breathing out. One breath, one movement. Four more. Sit deep. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold it out, sit deep, and then press back child's pose. 
And then we're gonna bring it out. We're gonna move the other direction. So big circle, shoulders and wrists line up. Then press it back. Bring it out, shoulders and wrists line up. Then press it back. Bring it around, shoulders and wrists line up. Press it back. Big circle, shoulders and wrists. Press it back. Shoulders and wrists. Press it back. Big circles. Sit deep. Feel that opening in your hips, through your shoulders and your chest and your back. Feeling the strength and the length. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Then hold it out, drop in those hips. Maybe this time lift in your feet, round in your spine as you reach your chin up, gaze is up. Press those hips down. And then press it back. Wide knee child's pose. Then kneeling, several more cat and cows. Roll it, tuck it, chin to chest. Come back neutral. Roll it, tuck it, chin to chest. One more. Roll it, tuck it, chin to chest. Curl those toes and lift up downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Shake your head. Lengthen the spine. You're gonna take that right foot, you're gonna kick it up. You're gonna keep that hip centered. You're gonna flex into that heel, toes towards the mat, and just tap the floor and lift it up. So your arms are long. You're press into those hands, suction cup those fingers, externally rotating those elbows and armpits side by side. I'm sorry, elbows and ears side by side, externally rotating those armpits come inward. The tailbone's high, the crown is down, hips are centered. You're just lowering and lifting, lowering and lifting, lowering and lifting. If you need to modify, come onto your left leg, onto that knee, and lower and left, and lower and left. You got four, you got three, you got two, and your last one, lift it up and bend in the knee and stack in your hip and open it up. Then release it center, drop it down, and lift the left leg. Again, flexing in that heel, toes towards the mat, center in your hips, arms are long, tailbone's high, drop it down and lift it up, drop it down, lift it up, drop it down and lift, drop and lift. Crown to the mat, tailbone to the sky, toes to the mat, then lift it up, keeping hips centered, grip with those fingers, ears and elbows, we're side by side, and lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. In four, in three, in two, and your last one, lift it up, bend in that knee, stack in that hip, open it up. And then bring it center. Walk your hands back. Feet are together. Squat into your thighs, fingertips down, little pulses. If you can't get your fingers all the way there, you can come right here. Just get as deep as you can. Pulse into those thighs, you're igniting the fire. Make sure you're pushing your bottom back, not your knees forward, so your knees are not popping over your toes. Then lift your chest, hands prayer, and keep the pulse. Feet together. Really press into those palms, elbows out wide navel to your spine. You got eight more, you got seven, you got six, you got five, you got four, you got three, you got two. Sit deep, hold it. Reach those arms, shoulders down, pelvis under. Smile. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel that heart rate. It's elevated just a bit. That's great. That's how we get those endorphins flowing. Those feel goods. It's our natural dopamines that dope in and make us feel the love, the joy. It's our natural feel good high. Sit a little deeper. Lift your right heel. Bring your hands back into prayer and little pulse. Push your bottom back. Push your bottom back. Really press into those palms. Press that bottom back and press, 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 press. Eight in seven, in six, in five, in four, in three, in two, 
your last one sit deep hold it then switch the heel and pulse it and pulse it left heel up sit deep push your bottom back really feel that accentuation of pushing your booty back as you press in those palms feel like working deep into those muscles you got eight you got seven you got six you got five you got four and three and two last one sit deep and hold it then alternate those heels and lift 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 navel the spine and lift and lift and lift and lift pedal 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 for eight more for seven more for six for five for four for three for two last one both heels up sit deep hold it reach those arms up lengthen the spine press those knees together sit tall if you fall over it's okay pick yourself back up and then heels down hands to heart take a big inhale lift lengthen through the body exhale fold lift up halfway exhale deepen walk it out plank pose fully extended in our plank shoulders and wrist line up shift your weight forward you can drop to your right knee kick stand that leg out open up side plank or you can keep that bottom leg extended and stay in your side plank take your gaze up then bring it center add a push-up hover push away kneeling on the left leg open up side plank or fully extended. Listen to your body, honor where you are, make sure that shoulder and wrist are in alignment. Lift in your hips, gaze is up. Then bring it center, <clears throat> add that push up, push down, hover, press away. Other side, fully extended or kneeling, reach it up. Then bring it center, add the push up, hover, hold it. Press away, high on those toes, high in those hands, and then rotate left side. Fully extended or kneeling, lift in those hips, balance and breathe. And then bring it center, one more time each side. Push down, push away. Other side, open up, side plank. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift those hips a little higher. Hold it, you got this. Then bring it center. Shift your weight forward. Elbows track in. Hover. Press away. Left side. Let the hips reach the arms. Shoulders stack. Gaze is up. Then bring it center. Take it down. Push away. Hold it. Press back to your downward dog. Take your feet to the edges of your mat. Take opposite hand, opposite ankle, gaze up through your armpit. Feel the rotation through your spine. Breathe. And then release it other side. Rotate, gaze up, and breathe. Bring it center. Heel toe those feet back together. Then bring it out to plank pose. Come all the way down nice and slow on to your abdominals. Hover your hands, shoulder blades down and back, cobra pose. And little lifts. Glue your toes to the mat, even your baby toes. Big toes are kissing. And you lift, 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 lift. For eight more, for seven more, for six more, for five more, for four, for three, for two. Last one, let's hold it, press your hands in, press upward dog. Round into your spine. Shoulders and wrists are in alignment. Long spines, long necks. Don't slouch and sag in. Press away. You can kneel or you can pop off those knees. And then we're gonna come right back down to a cobra. Hover your hands, shoulder blades down and back. Then press it upward facing dog. Then press it down, cobra. Notice each time you stay a little higher as you get that strength in your back, that muscle memory in your up dog your spine just stays there. Press in a little higher. Find your cobra hold. You got one more. 
press in, deepen, shoulders back, press in, lift up, hold. Beautiful. Then lift your hips, lift the toes, downward dog. Take a moment, shake your head, check in. Then lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, little pulses. Squat deep, gaze in, step or hop to the top. So you can take one big step, one big hop. Lift up halfway, exhale, deepen. Sit nice and deep into your chair, lift your chest, hands, prayer, press in to those palms. Now we're gonna take those feet a little wider. They're about hips width apart. You're gonna knock knee your knees together and you're going to lift your heels. So knees press in together, heels come up, palms press. Find that focal point, that distri to help you balance, to stay centered, then sit a little deeper into it. Press the palms, knock knee, balancing chair, hold for eight, for seven, for six, for five, for four, for three, for two, your last one, heels down, rotate those legs center, lift all the way up, bring those feet back together, lengthen through your spine, take your left hand to right wrist, exhale over, gaze up, and then release this, switch the grip, lengthen, other side, gaze is up, and then bring it center, lift up nice and tall, press your hips forward, ears and elbows side by side, and round in the spine to the best of your abilities. Keeping those ears and elbows lined up, pressing those hips forward, and then bring those hands to heart. Take a big inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Squat deep and take that right foot, step it back. Drop to your back knee, walk that foot further forward. Press in. Knee and ankle are in alignment. Reach those arms high to the sky. Press into it. Revolve it, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Feel that rotation, so you can take your left hand to your left knee, rotate, get a little deeper. Internally, breathing, cleansing, as you feel that ringing of your organs, press into those palms, sit a little deeper, knee and ankle in alignment. Gaze is up over your left sh shoulder. Then you're gonna cartwheel those arms, left knee goes back, right arm goes up. Reach back to that hamstring or your calf, but you're still pressing forward, keeping the in alignment with your ankle. And that gaze stays over that back left shoulder. Then cartwheel those hands down. Take that left leg, kick it high. You're gonna tap the floor like we did in the beginning. Well, you're gonna pull that femur up into your hip socket. You're gonna lift up onto that right toe and you're gonna press up towards your left wrist. Grip into your hands, press into those hands and then kick it right back up. And then step it up, press into those hands round into your upper back, and then kick it up. And then press those hands, step it with the left foot high on the right toes, and kick it up. Step it forward, press, kick it up. Step it forward, press, kick it up. And press, kick it up. And press, kick it up. Press it, kick it up. And press it, kick it up. And press, and kick. Four more, and kick. Three more, and kick. Two more, and kick. Last one, and kick. You can drop to your right knee if you need to, keep, keep keeping that leg lifted, chin, chest down, and into a chaturanga, or you can three-legged. Bring it out, chin, chest down, and upward facing dog. And that push up back, down dog. Take that right foot, kick it high, stack your hips. Lift the knee a little higher. Lengthen through the arms, through the spine, and then bring it through. Drop to your back, left knee. Walk your right foot forward, press it in. Reach those arms high to the sky. Lift it up, sit deep, shoulders down. Breathe in, breathe out. And then revolve, opposite elbow, the 
opposite knee. So internally, we're bringing out just like a dirty dish rag, those internal organs. Use your breath. Get a little deeper in your breath. Take your gaze over your right shoulder. Press in, bending an ankle in alignment. And then you're going to cartwheel those arms. Right hand goes back, left arm goes up. You're on the back hamstring with your hand or to that calf, but you still want to sink in to keep that knee and ankle lined up and keeping gaze over your back right shoulder. And then you're going to cartwheel those hands down, kickstand that back leg, runner's lunge, step it to the top. Take a big inhale, lift, find your chair, lift, find your fold. Squat deep, lift it up, monkey pose, and step that left leg back, you're going right back where you were, repeating it all in reverse. So sit nice and deep into that right leg. We are just here. Walk that foot a little further forward, get a little deeper in it. Then reach the arms, lift all the way up, and sit deep. Shoulder blades down, so shrug them up, relax them down, take a breath, in through your nose, maybe out through your mouth, and then revolve, opposite elbow, the opposite knee. Deep cleansing breaths, feeling the power within that internally does the work to detoxify and purify. Strengthening our immune system and then lift up, cartwheel those arms into reverse, pressing those hips further forward, finding a deeper bend in your back, working in opposition as you press forward, reach back, lengthening and strengthening, building that stamina, finding the unity, feeling the love, and cartwheel it down. Kickstand that back leg, and you're going to take that right leg, kick it high. This leg, you're going to tap it down and then lift it up. You can step it all the way up to your wrist. Press into those hands. Right foot comes forward, and then kick it up. And then step it forward. Kick it high on those left toes. Then kick it up. Then step it forward. Then kick it up. Then step it forward. Then kick it up. Step it forward, shoulders and wrists line up, grip with your hands. Your hands become like your feet. They are your foundation. Lift it, step it, lift it, kick it, lift it, step forward, lift it up. You'll find you're better on one side than the other. You can work at your pace. You can always come to your left knee if you need to and just lower and lift that leg. Hang in there, there's a level for everybody. You're almost there. Four more. Lift it. Three more. Lift. Two more. Lift. And your last one. Lift it up. Now again, if you need that left knee, left knee, that left and right leg's extended, chin, chest down, and then press into your upward dog. Or you can stay three-legged dog. Bring it out. Chin, chest down, and roll upward facing dog. Push up. Down dog, fully extended or on your knees. Everything can be done kneeling. Take your left leg, kick it high, stack your hips. Lift that knee higher, let that foot dangle. Elongate the spine and the arm. Then bring it through, drop to your back right knee. Walk that left foot further forward, knee and ankle in alignment. Press those hips in. Get as deep as you can as you reach those arms high to the sky. Whew. Blazing in the sunshine with the internal light. Turning on and shining bright. Feeling induced with that self love and care. Revolved. Pressing palms together. Gaze over that left shoulder. Sit a little deeper. Feel the dynamic. Stretch the dynamic. Lengthening the dynamic. Strengthening the dynamic. Cleansing and the renewal. So it's there to enjoy and peace. Cartwheeling those arms, pressing into that hip, staying right where you're at in it. Breathe in, breathe out. And then cartwheel those arms down, kickstand that back leg and step it up. Take a big inhale, reach, find your chair. Second time in that knock knee, so widen your feet. Lifting those toes. I mean, I'm sorry, lifting the heels. Press your knees together. Find that focal point to help you balance. And I have a broken toe, so it's a little hard for me. I'm actually gonna step off this mat because it's a little squishy mat. Which is harder to do. And lift up. Or you can keep your heels down 
if it's too much to lift and balance. But press those knees in, lift up on those heels, press into those palms. Find that focal point to stare at. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, heels down, turn the toes forward, take a big inhale, reach, exhale, fold. Lift up halfway, exhale, deepen. We're going through three rounds of a sun citation, squat, deep gaze, four step it back down with dog. Bring it out to plank, elbows track in, chaturanga, your full extender on your knees and flip the toes upward, facing dog, flatten those feet onto your mat, really press and round into your upper back. And that push up, if you choose kneeling or fully extended, push up, push away. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a step or a hop to the top. Big inhale, reach, find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Bring it out to plank, fully extended, or on your knees, track those elbows inward, chaturanga, hover hold, flip the toes, upper dog. And a push up if you choose, or just press back, Downward dog. Shake your head, lift your heels, gaze between your hands, squat into your thighs, take a step or a hop to the top. Big inhale. We got one more and then we're continuing on. Lift it up, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward. Step it back, downward dog. Bring it out to plank, fully extended or kneeling, track those elbows in, chaturanga hover hold, flip the toes upward facing dog push up if you choose down dog take the right leg take it high stack your hips lift that knee bring it through warrior one back heel down lift the torso reach the arms press in standing firm and discernment right here so breathe close your eyes you're empowered in your warrior one 12 o'clock your big toe about 11 30 your back left toe Ankles are alignment, hips and torso rotate forward. Shoulder blades down and back, arms high to the sky. Closing the eyes, breathing in, being in the space of the present moment. Discerning truth, in the space of love and compassion. Then you're gonna swoop those palms, step it up, balancing. Warrior three with palms up, airplane wings. Taking soaring flight in our truest essence of self, in the space of love, joy, and peace. Then you step it out, God's pose, hands to heart. Sit nice and deep in it, little pulses, little pulses. Expand to the heart center, pull those arms up, sit deep, and you're gonna reach it out, lengthen, sit deep, reach out, lengthen, sit deep, reach out, lengthen, sit deep. Little leg kicks, sit deep, Lift, reach, sit deep, lift, reach, sit deep, lift, reach, sit deep, lift, reach, expand that heart center, reach it, sit deep, reach it, sit deep, reach, sit deep, and reach, four more, sit deep, and reach, sit deep, and reach, sit deep, and reach, sit deep, give me two more, sit deep, and reach, Sit deep and reach. Last one, sit deep. Reach it. Sit deep and reach it. Bring it back and hold it. Catch your breath. Feel a little spike in the heart rate. Good for the soul. Feel a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy here. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Breaking free from anything that no longer serves us. Just let it go. Feel it just breaking off. Visualize it. Then go pivot around to the back, press it, lunge. High in the back toes, sit deep in it. A little deeper. And then revolve it, opposite elbow, opposite knee. Hip stack, centered, elbow stack, one upon the other. Now we're gonna take our hands if you want. You're gonna to drop to your back knee. You're gonna bring that arm further forward, this back arm further down. So you're building a shelf. 
So you want this arm to meet at your back hip, this arm to meet at your front knee. It's about letting go of fear, right? So we're gonna work in arm balance. So you gotta get your hands down, you gotta lift your butt up and get on that arm. So you're gonna shift your weight, and you're gonna balance yourself. Your legs stay the same, you can kick them out. If you wanna fall over and put your head down the floor, you can. Build that shelf, lift it up. You can stay in it, hold it, balance through it. You can just work on getting into it, because I know it's not easy. Just work on getting that bend in your spine and letting go of the fear that you're gonna fall over. You can have a pillow there or a blanket if you're afraid. So your elbow is back at your back hip. Your elbow is at your front knee. And you have to build that shelf so you can sit on top. As you hinge over, sit up, hinge it over, and then balance. It's just equal distribution of weight. It's all about the science of balancing and then bring it back center. Come into a deep runner's lunge and then take that left leg and kick it high. Shake into your head. So you're gonna work on two-legged dog. Left leg is up. Work on bringing that right hand back. So that right hand is back by your right ankle. Left hand is down, pressing in the downward dog. If you wanna to begin to lift that arm, lift that arm. Just an option, two-legged dog. You're really gripping and pressing, balancing and breathing. If you wanna take your hand to your calf or your ankle, you can. Push your crown down, lift that leg higher. Get it high, high, high. Work on where you are, place that hand down, three-legged dog, then bring it up fully extended or kneeling in chaturanga, upward facing dog. Push up, down dog. Take your left, right leg, kick it high, stack your hip, lift the knee, pull it through for warrior two, back heel down, cartwheel his arms, extending yourself. Woo! This left foot is parallel to the back edge. Right toes forward, center your hips. Get nice and deep, reach in, sit deep, reach it up for reverse, gaze up through your armpit, then hinge it over side angle. Form on your thigh. Then bring it back center, warrior two. Then find it into reverse. Then come side angle, five thigh and forearm, or slide that hand down on the inside, gaze is up, shoulders are stacked. Everything's in alignment. And then bring it back, warrior two. Reach it up. We've got a one more into that reverse. Then side angle onto your thigh, or all the way down. You want to increase the intensity, place that hand, rotate that shoulder, and imagine you place it in your back pocket. Again, keeping hips stacked, gazes up. You can take your hands to your chest, and imagine you're hugging yourself. If you're able, no legs, you can take your hand underneath and find the other hand in a bound position. But that's advanced, so you don't have to do that. You can keep your hand down and keep your hand in your back pocket. So you can hug your chest. You can stay right here onto your side with your hand back, reaching for your back thigh, with that front right thigh, and taking gaze up. And then go ahead and release it. Come to a center straddle, gaze through your legs. Shake it out, shake it out. Move side to side. Reach those arms, drop your bottom. And then lunge it to your left, low bottom. Reach those arms and then rotate, rotate, rotate. Imagine you're squeezing a beach ball. And if you're able to get those wrists lined up, pressing, clasping, drop your bottom deeper, drop those arms overhead. If you can't get there, imagine you're holding the beach ball. If you can't get all the way down, you're right here, pulling the wind, reaching arms up. Use your breath, inhale, exhale, and then go ahead and release it. Come around nice and deep. Place your hands in the center, walk your foot to the edge, press in, hold it. Then you're gonna take that back foot, you're gonna step it up, turn the toes out, find your garland pose, hands at heart center. <laughs> Again, pressing the knees towards your arms, the arms resist against your legs, you're working in opposition. Tailbone down, crown forward. Take a moment, breathe in, breathe out. Then hands come down, lift the tailbone, hands to your ankles, gaze through your legs. Then heel toe those feet back together. Lift up halfway. Exhale, deepen. 
Take a big inhale, reach arms all the way up. Find your chair. Lift, find your fold. Squat deep, gaze forward, step it back, downward dog. Bring it out the plank, chaturanga upward, facing dog. Push up, down dog. Get down the left side, kick that leg high, stack in that hip. Bend in that knee, and then bring it through for warrior one. Back heel down, lift the torso, press in. Deep in, breathe. <sighs> Take a moment, ponder where you are. And then go ahead, swoop those arms back, pull that chest forward, leap it out, balancing half, or balancing warrior three. Elongate the spine, breathe in, breathe out. And then open it up, goddess pose. Center yourself, little pulses, expand through that heart center, sit nice and deep. And then we're gonna take it, we're gonna lift it, reach it. Sit deep and reach. 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 Sit deep and reach, sit deep, 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 hang in there, you're almost there, reach it, sit deep, reach it one more, sit deep, reach it, sit deep, and reach, sit deep, sit deep, hold it, breathe through it, then pivot yourself around to the back, press and lunge, high on the back toes. Take a breath, honor where you are. Get a little deeper. Then revolve it, opposite elbow, opposite knee. If you need your back knee down on the mat, come kneeling. Now you can stay here, you can work on that arm balance, working on breaking free from fear. So, back elbow fills that shelf at your back hip and glute, front elbow at your right knee. Hands come down, so you gotta lift your booty up to sit up on top of it. You gotta hinge yourself over, equal distribution of weight. You can take your gaze up, lengthen those legs, and again, if you want, you can push your head down onto the floor for assistance. You can work on balancing. It is a balancing act. And again, you just wanna stay here kneeling, revolve, working on those cleansing breaths. You can. You can stop, pause, rewind. Do what's best for you. And then wherever we are, we'll come back to our center. We're gonna take that leg and we're gonna kick it up. Then we're gonna slide our three-legged dog into a two-legged dog. So press into those hands and begin to walk the left hand back. Left hand's back by your left foot. Now once you find your balance, begin to lift the arm. Whew, a little more challenging with the broken toe. Lift that arm, lift that arm, embrace your challenges. Honor where you are. If you want to place your hand around your ankle, your calf, get that leg higher. Crown is down. Lift the leg, press into the arm. And then go ahead, three-legged dog. Bring that leg down. Bring it out, fully center kneeling, chaturanga upward dog. Push up, downward dog. Left leg kicks. Stack your hip, lift your knee, bring it through, warrior two. Open up, center yourself, deepen into the posture. Angles are in alignment. Reach those arms out, sit deep. Then find reverse, reach it up. Squeeze it up through that armpit. Lengthen in the side angle, forearm to your thigh, reach that hand high to the sky. And then warrior two. Stay deep in that lunge of the legs, don't move, isometrically holding, hinge it to reverse. Then five side angle, forearm to the thigh, or hand all the way down. Reach that arm up to the sky. And then back to warrior two. Stay in that leg and that left leg. Lengthen up over the right. Hinge it, deepen it. And then last time, forearm to your thigh. Arm is up, hand all the way down. Take that hand in the sky and wrap it around your back. 
bottom hand hugs your shoulder. So if you're on your thigh, you can hug at your tummy. This back hand can wrap around, try to grab for that thigh. If you're all the way down and your hand is back and your hand is hugging, if you want to try to rotate and grab your back fingers, you can, but you don't want to drop your chest forward. You don't want your face forward. Everything stacked and lined up. And then wherever you are, release it, come to a center straddle, shake your head. Move side to side. Side to side movement. And then hold it to the right leg. Sit nice and deep. Shoulder knee side by side. Booty is down. Reach those arms out. Move side to side. Couple more, side to side. Now hold it to the right. Drop your crown, leash those palms up. Imagine holding a beach ball. If you're able to line those wrists, press them together. Drop those palms overhead, drop your bottom down. And then go ahead and release it. Walk yourself around, walk that foot to the side. Press into those arms, press into that thigh. Hold it. And then you're gonna step that back foot up, Harlan. Pose, turn the heels out, drop the tailbone down, pull the chest forward. Ah, breathe. Taking the glistening sweat that may be beating up on you. I got a lot of it because I got the sun beating on me. Visualize you're in the sunshine with me. Feel the light within bursting through our metamorphosis of change through our practice. As we renew ourselves with love and compassion and a spirit of joy. Maybe we awaken to the bliss of contentment in every moment here and now. Let's go ahead and drop our bottoms down, lengthen our legs out. Push our tailbone back, sit tall, shake the legs, reach the arms, exhale, hold. Go ahead and lift it up, bring this right foot back, knees are together, this foot is off to the side, and you're going to pull yourself back onto your forearms. Knees glued together, down. If you're able to lay all the way down, you don't want your knee to pop up, you don't want it off to the side, you want them together. So you're either seated, pressing knees together, back onto your forearms, or all the way down. You can take opposite hand, opposite elbow, overhead. Extend that leg. Bring the left foot back. Knees are together. And again, you're either sitting seated up nice and tall here. This foot is out to the side. Knees are together. Don't let it lift up or off to the side. Walk yourself back. And then if you're able to, bring yourself down. Forearms clasp overhead. Opposite hand, opposite elbow. Just an option. Stay seated upwards if you can't get your knee down. Listen to your body, honor where you are. And then wherever you are, bring yourself up. Roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down. Lay down, lift the leg. Lower it down, lift it up. Lower it down, lift it up. Lower it down and lift, and lower and lift. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Four more, lower and lift three more, lower, and lift two more, lower, and lift last one, lower, lift, now jack knife, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower. We're gonna add the two together, four more, lower. If you can't get your bottom all the way up, it's okay, just get it an eighth of an inch, because it's a tiny lift, and the lowering down, it's okay. One more big lift, or low lift, and then we're gonna lower the leg, lift the center, and then jackknife it up. Bring it center, lower down, lift it, jackknife, lower, lower down, lift it up, bring it up, lower down, all the way down, and lift, jackknife, and lower, bring it down, and lift, jackknife, and lower, lower it down, and lift, jackknife, and lower, four more, lift it up, jackknife, 
in lower, three more, and lift, back leg, in lower, hang in there, you got this. On your next one, your jackknife, you're gonna hold it up for a shoulder stand. Hold it, so place your hands to your back and walk your elbows in and get those legs tall. Squeeze through your glutes, you can clasp in those hands and extend in those arms, chin to your chest. If you're not up and you're here with legs up against the wall, imagine your legs are up, engaging the glutes, pressing together, navel spine, spine to the mat. Same motion, arms along, pressing palms in, squeezing everything tight. So you're here with the tailbone down, pressing in, spine down to the mat, so you're up in that shoulder stand. And then wherever you are, bring it down. We're gonna counteract in fish pose. So your hands are like this under your tailbone. Lengthen your leg, draw onto your floor, onto your elbows, lifting your chin, gaze is up. I'm sorry, up back. So you're lifted back. So you're here and back on your forearm. And if you're able to, you can lift your legs. Open up through. If you need to bend in your knees, you can bend in your knees. And then release it and find your Shavasana legs. Relax, rock side to side. If you want to butterfly your feet while you lay here, you can butterfly your feet, finding that release in your hips and your thighs. Arms out to the side. And just take in all the magnificence of your practice. Feel transformed and renewed in the space of gratitude. Feeling positively charged to be energetically did a reset, being intentional. Feeling the love. That's what it's all about. It's all about the love. We love ourselves. We know we are loved. And we have to know that we're loved in order to love ourselves, so we therefore love others. Love is about being selfless. Love is unconditional. Love is without expectation. Love is without agenda. Love is pure and whole. Love is passionate and unconditional. So as we wholeheartedly love ourselves, know that we are loved. Go ahead and wrap yourself in a hug. Pull those knees together. Roll over to the femur position on the right side. Pulling those knees and tucking in. Giving yourself a big fetus hug. Loving your inner child. And then rocking yourself up seated. Come into your lotus posture. Sit nice and tall. Ooh, I'm drippy sweaty. Ooh, love it, love it. All right, palms are up. We're gonna take a moment to center ourselves with our breath, breathing in and breathing out. As we are in receptive mode with our palms up, let's spread them out wide to the side, pulling our heart forward, taking our gaze upward, pulling navel in. Sits bones, sit, our sits bones are open for us to settle in. And as we sit into our lotus posture, being expansive, to evolve in our awareness of truth, to evolve in a space of love, to so heal, to so transmute all that no longer serves us, letting go. Letting go of all that BS that no longer serves us, that does not bring us our authentic truth. The lies that we hold ourselves in bondage to, release them and let them go. Feel free, feel empowered and inspired. And in this space, bring your hands to heart humility and respect with kindness and compassion being grateful for all that is and all that's to come when we resonate in a vibratory frequency of this space we can attract more of these goodnesses into our life and together 
we can be harmonious in manifesting heaven on earth. Be blissful soul. I wish you the absolute best, the most abundant prosperity and love and compassion and peace and joy so you may live blissfully soulful. Let's take three big inhales, lift your arms all the way up. Exhale. Big inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Namaste. Thank you.